Hey, hey, it's W5HRO. Well, here's the linear I was talking about in my other video. It just arrived today. This is an original AL80. Serial number 543, I believe. I have to look at the back again. It says, I think 549 or 543. This is after they fixed all the design errors. This was the last and final production run of this amplifier. This is the one that works. And I got it turned on. It was wired up. The guy that, I, that, that had it had it wired up for 220. And I had to put a 120. Uh, he had, see that white plug down there? I had to put the white plug on the end of it to get it back to 110. And I was going through the manual. Plus, I've got all the, uh, all the uh, original paperwork. There's the full schematic for this thing. The meter light doesn't work. And I need to see. I didn't even look to see if it had a light. I'm sure it does. I think it's just burned out. If not, I'll, yeah, meter lamps, that's that's an easy fix. I didn't realize, I didn't even bother to even look at them when I was in there, but I'll fix the meter lights. But I did take the lid off of it, I looked at everything, and guess what? I was going to put one of those new uh, RF parts 3-500 CG, those carbon, was it carbon graphite, those graphite tubes. Well, that's what the guy put in it. It's got one of those in it already. And uh, the tube does light up and everything, and it looks like this, the guy took immaculate care of it. I mean, it's in beautiful. I've never seen, you'll hardly ever find these things. This, this is an ex extremely rare amp because they, they stopped making it at the start of 1984 or the, or the end of 83. They only made this thing for a few years and the first two production runs were a piece of crap and then they, another guy took over and he fixed everything. This is only 12 inches wide, 11 and a half inches deep and 6.6 six inches tall. It just barely fits the tube. But this thing is slick. I've never seen one of these things in this kind of condition. The front panel has no scratches. The uh, brushed metal aluminum bezel around the edge and the bottom, it has no scratches. The cabinet has got a few little surface mars here and there, but that is nothing. A coat of wax will bring that like, I'm gonna make this thing shiny. Like I said, I'll replace those meter lights, and uh, looks like the guy might have even replaced the capacitors in it at 1.2. So uh, this thing is in, t I haven't tried to run, drive any power into it yet. I'm going to wait till this weekend. I might do it tomorrow when I come home from work. Today's Thursday. I'm too tired to do it today, so I'll, this, I'll do it tomorrow or either or Saturday this weekend. I'll, I'll probably try to hook it up tomorrow night, but uh, so far so good. Just right now I noticed the meter lights don't work. But now if I go to voltage, look, there's the 2700 volts on that tube right there, almost 3000. And uh, that's for the grid current and that's for the plate current and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, hook, I'll hook it up uh, later. But the tube does light up and it's running now. I had to convert everything over to 110. And what you do is I've even got the original manual for it. So what you have to do is he's got notes in here and everything. So uh, this is good. The guy apparently was a repair guy, so he took care of it. Apparently he died, his widow sold it. The guy had some form of dementia and he, he kicked the bucket, I guess, back in 2013 or sometime shortly after, a few years after. And it's, this thing hasn't been plugged in since 2013. But all his notes are here. Uh, where's the thing about, well, I guess you gotta look at the other manual. Where is it? The, the newer one. This is the original manual for it. This is the one you can download on the web, but they also have included a copy of this too. This has all this has some notes in it too, but uh what you have to do is do uh wire it up for 110. You just there's a plate on the back you take off with two screws, which I did, and you just change the wiring from, from this. He had it for 220, which is this, and you just add these two jumpers to fix it to make it work on 110 again. It came from the factory working on 110, and then you know. People, a lot of people put it on 220, which is what the guy did. He had a really funky plug on it, too. Where'd I put that plug? I put it somewhere over here. But uh, I'm real excited about getting this because you just almost never see these amplifiers because they only made a few of them. Then they came out with the AL80 after, which is not even the same amp as this one. So uh, 
This is cool, man. I like the fact that it only has one meter. I just need to fix those lights and I'll probably polish the front panel up and all the knobs and I'll probably polish the case with some car wax. I'll make this thing look like brand spanking new, probably better than new by the time I'm done with it. But it's got, it looks like it's been recapped. It looks like the tuned input board's all intact. It looks like it also has the stuff for 10 meters. And uh, that's cool, man. And I, I guess all the way over here is what, I think, the, by the way, one that these knobs are slipping, I need to tighten the, uh, the little Allen nuts in there. One up, this one slip. Oh, no, no, this is the one that's slipping. The other two are fine. This one slips. But right there, I guess, is 10 meters. So uh, that's where it was. The guy must have been using it on 10 the last time he used it. So uh, this has got a uh, 3-500C, uh, C, uh, 3-500Z, uh, Z, ZG in it, the graphite with the graphite anode in it. So uh, the guy did replace the tube. It looks like possibly the caps at one point. So hopefully I'll have this thing on the air with the, uh, the, the 590 SG going into it this weekend. So that's all for now. I'll do another video when I get this thing, uh, you know, up and running and, and et cetera, et cetera. There'll probably be a whole series of stuff I do on this, on this uh, hard to find amplifier. 73s, it says W5HRO.